Hi guys, sorry, I'll, it'll, I will describe how we use case statement, also what the uses of it. So, this case statement, yeah. Uh, to use a case statement, we basically need some kind of variables, always, like with the if statement we use. And probably we will almost always declare scanner. So, let me import it. Oh, use all the options so yeah let me do some kind of variable for example int um, let's say number always stick to it um, yeah number let's say number we can just scan it yeah so okay so scanner uh, input equals to new scanner and system dot in Okay, so we have the scanner, we need to declare the input now, so number uh, equals to um, yeah, input, input dot next int, okay, yeah, so we have it, <coughs> so we have our uh, int number and uh, we have input statement, so we can start off with our case statement. But before we do the case statement, we need to uh, declare a switch. So switch uh, and then number. There it goes. And then we need to open it and close it. So inside, it's like beginning of the if statement. Inside we declare actions. Yeah, but here inside we declare uh, our cases. So this is switch. The, the beginning and then we start with our case so case for example uh, one let's say case one and system dot out dot print line and let's say um, your number is one we can add many more cases I will add a couple just case let's say two Oh, remember we just finished the case statement with colon not semicolon there, there's a difference so as you can see we finished with this one is a colon and system out print line and we can say your number is 2 we can have many statements like this and we just copy them for numbers, for characters, we just can set them. That's enough. Let's finish. Let's finish it with three and four. Yeah, three and four. Okay. So that's probably the case that we use. We will use, but there's a one element that is not here. Basically, what 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 we need here also it's under each of the case at the at the end of the case we also need to include the break what it does the break does the uh, it goes out of the case so for example if you have um let's say nested, nested loops uh, so we will loop a couple of times we each time need to go out of the case and check the condition so we need to use break here each time we use case statements so break and here also break you just go out from the case so that it's allowed to you know. okay so when I run this now let's say I run it I will forgot about the input statement okay, I'll put the system uh, some kind of message for user to know what to output input and um, print line let's say please uh, insert number as I have only cases from 1 to 4 and uh, only those number will work so I need to input number between 1 and 4 so I will just write, run it and input 3 your number is 3 so this one is uh, executed I can do something like uh, why well, can yeah, just add a number it's also working I can do also characters 
uh, which means I don't need to choose number but a character for example like plus but for this I would need to change uh, I would need to declare the character here and also string so I will show you this so you choose the character first for example uh, say um, sign and then string let's say converter okay so what we do with this so uh, we have our number we don't need it actually now so to have the character in case statement we need to convert it there's no way you we can just write it straight ahead we need to convert it so it's so much pain but it's actually worth it to know so what we do is write the string first so convert I mean converter and we don't need the int yep so we have converter we change it later on don't worry uh, and then because that's the input statement so we need to change it now to the character so what we do is sign equals to um, converter dot and car at, at this one and you can choose zero that will change our string to the character so now instead of using string we use character so sign and uh, we use uh, yeah, this one for example to plus change it um, also we can change this one to for example minus and this one also we change for example to multiply and this one we will change to divide okay so each time I choose one sign So each time I use sign, uh, the yeah they should uh, output uh, this line, for example, or this one. Depends on the sign. Should I run? What some kinds of problem with the sign? Wait. Um. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> I spelled it wrongly. Oh, it should be correct. I spell it wrong. Sign. Okay. Now, now we should. Now we. My mistake. Yeah. Now it should work. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Change it. Uh, arithmetic. Okay. I'll oh, run again. So please insert argument sign so for example we press plus and the number is one or well, we can change it to anything you want so it just to show you that this will be printed so we can change it to for example um, your answer is, is and let's say we can calculate something like two plus three it should work oh yeah plus here yeah. So when I run this, without the variables, it will be, I think, 33. So well, we'll, we'll check it. Yeah, it will be 33 because uh, it's such a rubbish thing. You need to put it in brackets then to, I think it will work. <coughs> Let me check it now. Uh, more brackets to close it. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah. And then plus. Yeah, now it's working. But well, basically, because those are no variables, that, that's why we need to put them in the brackets. This way, they will calculate. If we put them separately, like without the brackets, they will just add them like a strings. So that will be that is twenty three, and when we put it in the in the brackets, it's five. So that calculates, and without brackets, it adds components. Okay. So that's how we actually do it. This is the case statement. We can use characters, we can use numbers, um, 
we can represent many values and we can represent many cases there's not not such a limit to them we can also do the loops inside it but that's for future uh, tutorials uh, for now that's that's it for the tutorial and um, if you like it go to my web page you will find more tutorials on how we do stuff like a uh, case and a statement in programming java uh, also any other uh, tutorials will be there so go ahead look at look around play with the code also and i'll see you in next tutorial bye